Hello Virgo, welcome on my channel, Tipple 2 Tarot. This is your girl TM and I'm back with another reading. This is for bi-weekly from March 1 to 15. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere planets you have in Virgo. Uh, this is the reading for you. What is general uh, overview for you that what is coming, what you can expect, what is happening in these uh, 15 days for you. You can come to me for personal reading if you want to. Details and prizes are given in the description box, so check out. You can also join me on Instagram for more fun. Give the thumbs up to this video if you like it, what I'm doing here, and if it's resonating with you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, yes, let's see. I will check up first your reading, okay, from this uh, Psychic Healing Oracles, and then I will see from Tarot, who is coming towards you in love. What are their energy? So, we have the first card here is Sacral Chakra. Definitely working on yourself. Then we have the Six of Wands reverse. There's something... Some of you could be really want to change the location, or, or you want to go abroad or something. You want to visit, you want to travel, but it's not allowing you. Solar Plexus Chakra, yeah. Uh, I feel that it could be possible for your health. You really want to check up. Some of you, you really want to... Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm sorry if you have a, some type of disease or some type of things that you're really working on. But you really want to go abroad and check out for there. But there's a, some type of things that's still blockaging that you can't go there. I'm also seeing some of you having a health issues here very badly. Um, you know, it's really affecting you. You, some of you really stuck in your life right now and you don't know what you need to do. Some of you really stuck in your own situation. You can't decide that um, what is the best choice for you in the job, in a career. Really, you are, you are asking these questions, what should I do? What is the best thing for me? You know, and it could be possible in love. You're asking, what is next? What is next? There's something that you're stuck on. You need to make a decision. And here it is, intuition. So trust your intuition. Pisces card here could be possible. You're dealing with a fire sign. Our Pisces here, especially. Uh, Throat chakra reverse here. So yeah, bottom of the deck, Leo, power reverse here. There's something you feel like same, things are not in your control. Things are um, in not your power. You're not feeling powerful enough to make this choice. Some of you really uh, feel like you can't... Um, delay or you can't deliver your message to someone you can't you really want to talk with someone but you're not doing it third chakra is reverse here with the power reverse some of you feel like this is out of your control you can't do it let this person come towards you so that's why you could be working on it this could be vice versa like this person is not talking to you because their third chakra is closed they're having a hard time to um you know express their love to you and are, they want to talk to you but they're not doing it some of you definitely having a hard time in your in your health and your finances because I feel that you're really figuring out that what you need to do because we have the sacred chakra. Um, you know, sacral chakra is definitely working on yourself, trying to heal yourself, trying to connect with the... Some of you are having this disconnection with the divine too. That's why you're not... They're saying, that's why they're telling you that try to trust your intuitions, try to connect with the divine and take power and control of your life, but you're not doing it. There's something is definitely you're not you could be giving up on something or you're not trusting your intuitions you you see that there's no power there's something that you don't have a power on it could be another person that you feel like it's out of your power it's out of your control you can't control them and they're not talking to you there's some type of miscommunication and misunderstandings going on in relationship so that's why they're telling you that trust your intuitions and if they're telling you that this, this person is right for you, this person is feeling for, same the same for you, just trust your intuitions. They're telling you the right thing to do. We have victory and success in rewards here. Some of you, I told you there's something going on in your health, in your business, in your job, in your financial state. You're definitely um, aligning with that, but you're not getting the result. You're not moving forward. You really want to move forward. You really want to could be in something of area. So some of you really, I'm saying in a public eye, you really want to uh, talk with people, but you're not getting that much popularity and pub publicity that you want. You're, you're, you're feeling like your, 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 your hard work is not paying off. Okay. I'm also saying some of you could be in a politician or something or working towards with, with these type of people who are public speaker. There's something going already really um, hard time for both of you. 
if we talk about in relationships it's a hard time to talk and connect with this person and if we talk about overall your finances or overall in your life that's also i'm saying there's some type of difficulties that you're facing right now but one thing and one key here is for you here is that listen to your intuitions right trust the universe trust yourself and make a power to make a decision but you're not you feel like you will you will make a wrong decision it's not you're not believing on yourself you're not believing or trusting the power of your intuitions on yourself also so that's not a good thing here honey you need to definitely work on that are you this could be talking about you need to work on your throat chakra you know some of you this person could be very deceptive they're not even nothing they're not telling you because i'm seeing here they're not expressing it you need to trust your intuitions you need to just go with your intuitions and and, and then just follow the part that if you are on the right path or not even if it's it's business it's job it's it's, it's love i'm seeing here so now let's see who is this person coming towards you on love Virgo. this could be vice versa that that person is doing with you or you are doing with this person i don't know but something is there this is also out of control here there's something working with the universe but i also feel like you're not you're not taking any action you know so let's see who is this person coming towards you on love what are they bringing i saw the nine of swords so they are they're, they're they're definitely thinking about you obsessive thinking going on could be an air sign um this person really want to make things right with you they're also having a definitely someone is having a hard time to discuss and to talk look at this whoever this person is nine of swords energy okay they're having a hard time to talk to communicate because their thought chakra is closed they can't do it right now could be possible they're going through some could be on some type of power struggle here but i'm also seeing this is like a um, like a so low self-esteem someone is going through like they don't feel like if you they will talk to you you will understand them or you will listen to them because they're not believing on themselves they really need to work on them their chakras i'm saying here they really need to be courageous they really need to be some of you really need to focus on your health if you're going through this bad health i'm seeing here some of you really working very hard for your finances and your business you really want to make solid foundations but it's real things like really not going well as you're planning and it's really disturbing you oh wow we have the lovers gemini all this air sign so yeah this could be a hard choice to for you to make a choice here you know you need to make a choice i told you i told you someone really need to listen their intuitions and make a choice that what they do next it could be possible that this is your soulmate or twin because we have the lovers here this person could have choices and they need to make it wow we have the king of swords here it is all these air sign gemini libra aquarius i feel this person is not making a move as you can see that how this king of swords sitting here in this enormity deck look at this yeah they're not communicating they're defensive they're not uh, talking masculine energy is not making a move here and this could be affecting feminine energy whoever this is i'm seeing that masculine is not taking the charge in this connection they're not making a move they're not expressing it they're not they feel like but mm, i feel that masculine energy need to make a decision here that what they want because the feminine energy you can see that this is she's a female okay definitely feminine energy here is definitely stressing out I feel this person is uh, observing you from afar they could be spying you on social media three of wands yes they're waiting for you i feel that feminine energy is waiting look at this could be long distance relationship look at this how she's waiting for this for her ships to come in could be communication could be offer whatever this feminine energy is waiting this could be someone is single here and they're waiting for their right partner to come into life and it's not happening this could be lovers is here talking about that someone is waiting for their love of their life and they're not coming this this is like a waiting game going on some of you some of you this could be you're waiting for the text of from this person or the, this could be a masculine energy waiting for uh, for the feminine to come back to them or to talk to them first or something but there's a hard choice here make a decision here i feel the love is mutual because we have the lovers obviously this is a mutual love this could be your twin this could be soulmate but this is like nobody's making a move there's a struggle here of communication 
Wow, Eight of Cups. Yes, someone left here. You left them or they left you. This is a past. This is, But I feel this is separation, not past. Two people who are in love, they are separated from each other. Right? And the, they are waiting who will make a move here. Some of you, this could be a hard choice for you to make a decision that you need to leave the past and move on. Or you need to stay here. There's a choice here. Someone definitely need to make a choice here. And this could be your person. That they're dealing with their exes. They're dealing with someone else. And they need to make a choice here between you and the other person. That's what they want. Obviously, if they have to come towards you, they, leave to, they, they need to leave the past. They need, they need to leave that option. They're de uh, dealing with or they are with someone. Chariot. I feel this person will come back to you. This person is coming. We have the chariot here. Fast moving could be uh, could be if this person lo if uh, this person live on the distance from you, they're traveling, almost okay. I'm seeing here this person is coming on their car, train, travel, plane. Yeah, I feel this person is could be waiting for the right time to make a move. Okay, this person is as you know that King of Sword is not the emotional person. This person is the logical person, practical. Um, this person make the decision head over heart. So yeah. This person finally will decide and they will choose you. The chariot also talk about that you are coming together. Like uh, this could be a dating. Okay. We have the judgment. So yeah. This could be a reconciliation for some of you. Scorpio or Sagittarius. Judgment. Yes. Travel. Definitely travel involved here between you and this person. This could be you only connect on internet. It could be possible and you're waiting for the message from this person. I definitely feel this King of Sword masculine energy is coming. Fast moving. They're coming. They're making decision. They're definitely choosing the love here. After this um, separation. Let's see from the oracles what messages we got for you. Here it goes. Let's see. This will provide extra guidance for your connection. Let's see. If you're a single, I feel that someone is coming towards you. Don't worry. We have the healing heart. Look at this. From this message. Healing heart. Yeah, after this healing, after this heartbroken, freedom from toxic relationship or addictions. Yeah, someone is coming from a toxic, you know, leaving the toxic or addictive relationships behind. Something addictions. This is like a seeing the heart. If you can see that what she's doing here. So yeah, after this healing painful time. This person is coming or this could be you you're healing your heart from recent breakup and someone is coming towards you with this chariot you could be moving on you're leaving the past behind i told you someone has to make a decision here some of you you're leaving the past and you're moving on to a better something because if if, the, if your person choose someone else you're healing the heart here right so yes for others of you it could be reconciliation with your twin flame or soulmate it's like a mutual love it was just a separation for eight months or one year. We have the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect um, our wants, introspection. Yeah, mirroring. Definitely, some of you, if you are in twin flame or soulmate connection, you're mirroring each other. You both are going through the same situation. If you're missing them, they're missing you. If you are loving them, I told you, there's a mutual energy. And sometimes, the lovers is also talk about mirrors of ourselves. The things we are lacking in ourselves, it could be possible. The things we are blaming the other person, that could be we have we have to work on ourselves, right? So yeah, be fair, be fair of that because the judgment is here. It means that universe is calling you to to do fair judgment on you and on this connection. Don't, don't just blame on one person. You also need to take fair, uh, you know. And accountability of your own decisions and actions that what you did if this person is doing wrong it could be possible this is the uh, mirror of you that you also did this, this thing to you or to someone else so yeah this is definitely if in this always happen in the soulmates and twin flame connection there was a lot so i will definitely take one here yeah, we have the stabbed in the back, heartbroken, pain. Yeah, I feel some of you definitely healing from this heartbreak. Someone stabbed at your back. If they choose someone else, if they cheated on you, they lied to you, they were with someone else. This was like a self mirror for that person or for you. Okay. But I feel here, yeah, this is like a lot of healing coming towards you. I, it could be possible that person is coming from you, like from a past. If they cheated and lied in the past, now they could be a change because we have the judgment here. 
right? They're coming for this um, accountability. They're real sorry. Because I told you someone is coming from the past or someone is leaving the past here. So just take what resonates with you, whatever you are doing. So yes, I really hope it resonated, guys. See you later in the next video. Bye-bye. God bless you in your journey. Bye-bye.